What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to identify reversals in the market. When may price reverse and go in a different direction and how to take advantage of that. Knowing when a price may reverse is very, very critical in trading because you don't wanna get caught on the wrong side of the market. So one of the best pieces of advice I've been taught over my trading journey is try not to predict what is gonna happen in the financial market react to what is happening and to react to what is happening we're going to be using three different tools that everyone can utilize in the trading and that is using the rsi indicator so the relative strength index the 50 exponential moving average and bullish or bearish divergence using the rsi indicator as confirmation trust me this knowledge and value is going to help your trading so much to identify what is happening in the market and just keep you out of those low probability trades and give you more insight in the bigger picture of what's happening. So let's jump into the charts and let me show you how to set it up, give you more information on the RSI and the moving average, what they mean, how they work, and how we're gonna use them all to find the reversal points in the market. Okay, first things first, we have in front of you is a four hour chart on GBP JPY. And I'm gonna show you how to set up the indicators that we'll be using. So it's more or less the 50 moving average, so moving average, exponential moving average to be specific, and the RSI indicator, which is the relative strength index. I'm using TradingView as my charting platform to do all my technical analysis. And first things first, what you wanna do is go up to the top here and click indicators. You'll see this box pop up and simply type in RSI. RSI is short for relative strength index and you'll see it over here. Simply click on it and it will bring up the box down here. And now we have the RSI indicator. Next, we're gonna to wanna to do the same thing. So click the box up here and we're gonna type in moving average and we're gonna select the moving average exponential since we want an exponential moving average. So we're gonna click this one here and now we're gonna change it to a 50 period moving average. So we can simply double click on the blue line that's appeared on our chart or we can go up to the top here and select EMA and the cogwheel, and that will bring up the length. We're gonna change it from nine to 50 and everything else will stay the same. So now we have the 50 moving average and the RSI indicators on our chart. So let me dive deep and give you guys some more insight into the RSI indicator. The relative strength index is more or less a momentum indicator. It measures the magnitude of recent price changes to evaluate overbought or oversold conditions in the price of a stock or other assets, in this case, the Forex market. So the RSI is displayed as a line or a graph and it bounces between two extremes. The most extreme being 100 and the other low extreme being zero. Traditional use of the RSI is values above 70. So once this line breaks above the 70 value, it indicates price is becoming overbought or overvalued and may be primed for a trend reversal or a corrective pullback in price. This is very important to understand since we'll be touching base on this in a minute. And an RSI reading of 30 or below, which you can see over here how price dips below the 30 value, indicates an oversold or undervalued condition signaling price may rise. That is the very basics of the RSI indicator. It grabs data from price action. It does mathematical equations and gives us this cool little graph at the bottom signaling when price is overbought or oversold. One thing I would like you to remember is never take a trade based off that one parameter alone. As soon as uh, um, the RSI indicator goes overbought, like over here, you don't wanna take a sell order. Over time, that will not be good for your trading account. And the probabilities of that happening over and over again when the trade simply goes in your favor just by that one condition is very low. So what we wanna do is stack multiple confirmations. Now let me talk about divergence. Bullish and bearish divergence is simply the inverse of what price is doing. So what exactly is divergence telling us? Divergence is when the price of an asset is moving in the opposite direction of a technical indicator or is moving contrary to other data. Divergence warns that the current price trend may be weakening and in some cases may lead to price changing direction. As I was saying before, if the RSI indicator is oversold or undervalued, such as over here, if we can stack bearish divergence, which I'll show you how to use in a minute and how to identify correctly, we can really start seeing a pattern here of price 
reversing, changing direction, or something happening in the market that we should be aware of. Divergence is identified using the RSI indicator. You simply draw a line from RSI high to RSI low for bearish divergence, meaning price may fall, or draw a line from RSI low to RSI high for bullish divergence, meaning price may rise. Let me take, take you through an example of how to identify it and how to draw it. Since this can be very confusing, it was confusing to me in the earlier days of my trading, but once you practice it, once you understand it, it is a very powerful tool to use, combining divergence with the RSI indicator. I'm gonna chuck in the 50 EMA in just a moment. So for bullish divergence, meaning price may rise, we need to identify the RSI low and the RSI high. So in this case, I know it looks like I'm cherry picking, but this is the best way for me to give you clean examples. We will go for other examples later as well, just to kind of show you more current live data. We can see that price is clearly falling. So in this example on the four hour chart of GBP, JPY, we are more or less the most current data is just here. I'm only going back until last week. You can see price is falling here. Like I was saying, we want to draw our trend line from the RSI low, so the lowest point. The lowest point I can see on my chart right now is right here. And now we want to draw it to RSI high. So we're lining the points up. So we're going to draw it to the most recent high. And we're going to draw it from here. I'm going to draw it straight across like that. What that is telling us is we now have bullish divergence. Now how I did that and the reasons I drew, drew it from here to here, so point A to point B, is because price is making consecutive lows. We have a low set here, another low over here, price made a new low, and we made a low here. Now in hindsight, you can see it's rising, but if I just pull this back with the replay tool in trading view, this is where the 50 moving average comes into play. We now have bearish divergence identified, bullish divergence, sorry. We can see price is making lower lows and we can see the RSI indicator is making higher highs. It is doing the inverse. So like I was saying before, divergence is when the price of an asset is moving in the opposite direction of a technical indicator. Divergence warns that the current price trend may be weakening and in some cases may lead the price changing direction. We've seen what's gonna happen in the future, but now let me introduce the 50 moving average, which is this blue line here, which I'll make a little bit thicker for you guys to see. The 50 moving average is described as the bears or bulls last stand, meaning in an uptrend, when price pulls back to the 50 EMA, it represents a good time to buy. And in a downtrend, when price pulls back up to the 50 EMA, it represents a good time to sell. What happens if price breaks above the 50 EMA with a body? I'm not talking about a wick. You can see that how price is reacting to it. You can see loss of momentum as price approaches the 50 EMA. And then you can see we break above it. We retest and then we break out again. With the bullish divergence identified, we now know price may be changing direction. We now have the RSI indicator oversold over here, bullish divergence building over a period of time. And now we have a break of the 50 EMA, which is in this case, the bears last stand, the bulls broke above it. Now let's see what happens. If we just play across, you can see price reverses, retest the 50 EMA multiple times, without breaking above it, below it. You can see in this example over here, price did break down below the 50 EMA, price could not hold below there, and we got rejected coming back up with multiple retests before coming higher. If I just bring this to current data, and now we are at today's date and current live market being printed. Identifying this bullish divergence over here from the RSI low set point, price action low over here, and we have the inverse of both the price action and the indicator are telling us a different story. The RSI indicator is making higher highs, but price is making lower lows, meaning we have an inverse, the opposite is happening. We have divergence. Divergence meaning change can happen, we may see a reversal. And in this case, we broke the 50 EMA, which is the bears or bulls last stand, depending on an uptrend or downtrend. We broke it, retested it, and continued up. 
I'm gonna give you a few more examples in a minute, but there are so many ways we can now take advantage of having that knowledge and that those tools of identifying when the market may reverse in our tool belt. Doing simple technical analysis like this is a great way to keep you on the right side of the market, shift probabilities in your favor so you can increase your win chance in your trading as well, and make sure you're not losing money and you're not on the wrong side. Now, I'm not the best instructor out there when it comes to explaining things. I've learned these techniques through Austin Silva. He's my mentor. I'm also an ASFX coach. I can go on and on about how divergence works and everything. What I want you to do is go to his channel. I'll put his link up here. Go check out Austin Silva's channel and he has multiple videos of exactly this technique. And this is even his system. He teaches the D1 and D2. The traders in the ASFX community take advantage of these trades using this exact technique every single day. And it is very, very, very reliable. Austin has a lot of free resources and divergence guides on his YouTube. This was a complete game changer for my trading and my technical analysis. Identifying such a simple trend combining price action with the RSI indicator, identifying that divergence, waiting for that EMA break, game changer. It keeps you on the right side of the market. It's a great trading system. Austin has developed rules and a system around this exact technique, like I was saying before, and it is very profitable. So let me jump into the chart and let me give you another example on GBP CAD. Once again, we're gonna just focus on recent data. This is current day so today i'm filming this on the 25th of the 5th 2021 and we can easily see divergence over here i'll give you a quick minute to see if you can spot it so basically what i'm looking at is the low point set here price made a new low but if we look at the rsi indicator price made a new high that is bullish divergence. Price made a new low, but the RSI indicator made a new high. Not all the time are you gonna get a break of the 50 and you're gonna just see price rally, but you can see the trend is more or less slowly reversing. It's choppy and we're not getting a clean signal. But this example on GBP CAD is more or less just to show you guys how to identify divergence. Now I'm gonna show you how to identify bearish divergence. It's exactly the same, but just the inverse. This was my example on GBP CAD. I just went back a little bit and then I found over here, we have bearish divergence. Once again, we can see a high point set here. Price comes down. We have another high, but now look at the RSI indicator. So if I draw a line from here to here, you'll see price is making higher highs. And then coming into here, you can see the RSI is making lower highs. What does that tell us? Bearish divergence. What happened? Price breaks the 50 EMA over here. It retests and then it continues lower, giving you that bearish divergence. And now we may see an upside movement after this, when what all this consolidation finishes. So this is the best way I can describe this to everyone. Using your price and your RSI indicator, what you wanna do is draw a line from price action low to price action high to find bearish divergence. And then you wanna match the RSI indicator where you find price RSI high. And if the RSI is making a lower low instead of a higher high like price action is doing, then you now have valid bearish divergence. To find bullish divergence, it's just the inverse. So you wanna find your low point on your price action. So you wanna find your low point and then you wanna see the market make another lower low like it did over here. And then you simply just wanna look at the RSI indicator, find your low point on your RSI, and then match it to the point on price action. And if it makes a higher high, instead of a lower low like it did on price action, you now have valid bullish divergence, meaning price may rise. I hope you guys got some value out of this video. Let me know if you want me to do another video, strictly just talking about divergence and how to use it. We use it in ASFX all the time, it's more or less the bare bones of our trading strategies that Austin has developed and what he teaches. If you want more information on this, drop a comment in the box below, let me know. I'm happy to help, reach out to me on Instagram and I'll definitely kind of give you guys some more insight and more knowledge on how to use 
divergence, the RSI indicator, and even on exponential moving averages. Once again, I appreciate you guys sticking around. I hope you got some value from this video. Please start going through the charts and learning how to identify divergence in the market. I've shown you how to set up the indicators. It's very simple. If you have TradingView, it is free to use. I believe you're allowed two indicators on the free version. But other than that, there are a lot of trading platforms out there. I appreciate you guys sticking around and I'll see you guys in the next video.